Where do chicks come from? A Let's Read and Find Out Science, Level 1, by Amy Skolansky, illustrated by Pam Paparone. This is an egg. You've seen eggs before, but this one is different. In three weeks, a chick will hatch out of this egg. An egg begins as a tiny white spot inside the mother chicken, the hen. There may be many tiny eggs inside the hen at one time. A yellow yolk grows around each egg. Then the father chicken, the rooster, mates with the hen. His sperm joins the growing egg. This is called fertilization. Soon a clear, jelly-like, egg white, or albumin, grows around the yolk. Finally, a hard shell forms. The egg is ready to be laid. The hen lays the egg. Over the next few days, she lays several more eggs. The hen sits on top of the eggs to keep them warm. As soon as the eggs are warm, the chicks start growing. The yellow yolk contains liquid food. A thin white skin grows around the yolk and albumin and sticks to the inside of the shell. It holds the albumin together to cushion the growing chick. The albumin contains water and a little more food. At one end of the egg is an air space. This is where the chick will take its first breath. Inside the warm egg is everything a chick needs to grow. The egg you eat for breakfast could never grow into a chick because it was not fertilized. Otherwise, all parts inside the egg are the same. The hen has warmed her eggs for three days now. Inside the chicks are growing. Day 3. The chick looks like the letter C with a dark spot in the middle. This spot is its heart. The heart pumps blood. The blood carries water and food from the yolk and the albumin to the growing chick. The chick's waste collects in the small sack. Day 5. The chick's head is now half as big as its body and its eyes are very large. Its tail has begun to grow. Wings and legs are forming. Briefly, the hen leaves the eggs to find food and water. She quickly returns to warm them again. Day 7. The chick is only one inch long, about as long as your big toe. Even so, it is already starting to look like a chicken. The chick's eyes, stomach, brain, and toes have started to grow. A beak has started to grow, too, but it is very soft. The chick's wings are folded across its chest. Day 10. Every day the chick uses up more of the food from the yolk. The chick lies on its back inside the egg. Its wings, legs, and beak are fully grown. Sometimes the hen turns the egg over. She keeps them warm on all sides. Day 11. The chick can open and close its beak now. It wiggles and bends within the albumen. Tiny bumps appear all over the chick's skin. In a few days, feathers will grow from these bumps. Day 14. The chick is tightly curled inside the egg. It turns to lie on its side. As the chick uses up more and more of the yolk, the albumen, the waste bag, expands. The chick has grown a special bump on the end of its beak. This is called an egg tooth. The hen clucks softly and turns her eggs again. The chicks are learning to recognize the sound of their mother's voice. The hen no longer leaves her eggs. She will not eat or drink again until they have hatched. Day 18. The chick has grown so big that it touches the inside of the shell on every side. 
Soft feathers called down cover its head and body. The chick uses up the last of the yolk. The yolk will give the chick energy to hatch and then rest for a few days without eating. Day 20. The chick practices breathing. In one day it will hatch. Inside the eggshell, the chick pecks a hole into the air space in the end of the egg. It takes its first breath and goes, cheep, cheep, cluck, cluck answers the hen. The next day the chick pecks a tiny hole in the shell using its egg tooth. This is tough work for the chick. After making the hole the chick sleeps for a few hours. When the chick wakes up it pecks for hours. It pecks a circle around the inside of the shell. Next it pushes hard against one side of the shell with its feet. Then it pushes hard against the other side with its neck and shoulders. Crack! The chick has hatched. The shell and the dried up waist sack fall away. The chick doesn't need its egg tooth anymore. In a few days it will fall off. The chick is tired. It rests its wobbly legs as the other chicks finish hatching. The hen fluffs her feathers and spreads her wings to cover and warm her new chicks. The babies nestle close to their mother and sleep. As they rest, their down dries. Their legs and necks grow stronger. Hours later, the fluffy chick is the first to run out from beneath its mother's wings. The others soon follow. Together, the hen and her new chicks search for food in the barnyard.